Whoopi Goldberg's most recent interview on The View has fans of the talk program shuddering. Actor Billy D. Williams joined the table on Tuesday's episode of The View in order to promote his new book, What Have We Here? Portraits of a Life. Whoopi uncomfortably introduced Billy to the crowd to start the interview. As Whoopi 68 and the other members of the team listened to Billy's explanation of how he got his start in the film industry, his responses were a little halting and stiff. There were a few strange times throughout the conversation with Billy. Many people were offended by the embarrassing interview, notably Sonny Hostin's question. She said that he was among the first persons of color to break new ground in the entertainment industry. Sonny felt awkwardly corrected when Billy pointed out that everyone is a person of color in response to what she had said. When Sonny called him a black man, he responded by saying he was brown-skinned. The studio fell strangely silent as Billy gradually introduced himself and told lengthy tales of his professional perseverance. Overall, fans weren't all that impressed with this interview. They all went on to criticize the interview on social media. It was interesting to hear Billy D. Williams' interview on The View. One fan noted, the entire segment had a weird vibe. He called himself brown-skinned, as a correction to Sonny calling him a black man and weird dismissive comments about gender fluidity. Is Billy D. Williams not a black person? What the heck is going on? Someone queried on X, the old name for Twitter. They must switch to the commercial. This train wreck of an interview with Billy D. Williams would nave yeah be allowed to continue by Barbara Walters. Haha. <laughs> Whoopi, for crying out loud, you are the moderator, said someone else. Who scheduled this interview with Billy D. Williams? And why? What's happening? inquired a fan. Interviewing Billy D. Williams has to be among the hardest and most tedious. It was difficult for any of the hosts to get anything out of him. However, it demonstrated Joy's expertise, wrote another admirer. Whoopi and co-star Alyssa Farrah Gryphon recently got into a nasty argument. They were having a heated debate on the differences between millennials and baby boomers. A dispute broke out between the moderators of the morning show during a Hot Topics discussion over the US economy and its impact on the younger generation. Alyssa 34 said, People can't even buy homes in this economy, to which the 69-year-old EGOT title holder responded very bluntly. Listen, I'm sorry, but when I started out, I couldn't buy a home either, said Whoopi. The 81-year-old co-host Joy Bihar added that she was unable to purchase a home when she was younger as well. Whoopi went on to say that being a homeowner wasn't the first thing that happens to someone when they start working. You need to go out and find employment, she went on. Whoopi guested to Elisa and said, I know you're young, but here's what it is. You have a job and enough money to buy a home. You are welcome to go grab one. The original Color Purple actress made a strong point by reminding the former employee of the White House that the proud Republican was a resident of New York City, a place where no one could afford to live. Since she works on The View, Alyssa explained that she wasn't talking about herself, but it seemed clear that she was advocating on behalf of the many young Americans who were in her circumstance. The View supporters retaliated against Whoopi and X, the former Twitter, for criticizing kids instead of the obstacles facing them. Whoopi is so disconnected, it's just bad. Compared to her childhood, it's a lot harder now, a disgruntled user tweeted. At the table, they are all millionaires and have no idea what's going on in the nation. They are merely Democrat operatives on a payroll. One thing about hashtag Whoopi is that she will act like she knows it all, the critic went on. I'm over her point of view. I believe it's time for hashtag their view to let her go. Another road, young folks are not able to purchase homes. I was unable to purchase one either. Whoopi, shut the F asterisk asterisk cup. Whoopi sounds incredibly naive and uninformed. The only person with common sense is Alyssa. Yeah, I literally yelled at the TV, a third admirer said. The only person making sense was Alyssa. Lol, a fourth person grumbled. Whoopi hasn't, in my opinion, 
truly contributed to a film project in the past 20 years or more. The view shoots in around four hours, and she spends 90% of that time sitting down. They allegedly pay her millions so that she can lecture the young people about laziness. Crazy world.